Hello, my name is Jason Stokes, and I'm the founder of Future Poly, which is a video game art school located in the Seattle area. I teach the 3D Modeling for Games course, and I'm proud to announce that I'll be offering an online version of this class with the exact same curriculum. One of the main focuses of my class is for students to create a single, cohesive video game environment. Here are a few environments that past students have created, and I think there are great examples of what a strong portfolio piece looks like. As you can see, all of these scenes consist of multiple smaller assets like buildings, trees, dumpsters, cars, etc. By themselves, the assets wouldn't have nearly the same impact as the final scene, and thus might not get noticed by a potential employer. Now once all the pieces are put together in an impressive composition, everything complements each other and the end result is much greater than the sum of its parts. Basically, you want the very first thing an employer sees to blow them away. By the time they look at your resume, they see your inexperience as an opportunity for growth rather than a negative. Make no mistake, as a video game artist, your portfolio is your degree. No one cares where you went to school or how much money you spent getting your degree. As harsh as it sounds, it's true. Now after teaching my curriculum over the past few years, I've decided to create an example environment that embodies all the key points of environment creation. This way students can get a clear view of the production process and they can watch individual lessons as they wish. So without further ado, I present our showcase world, Celeryland. One of the main goals going into production on this environment was to have enough genre variety that students interested in working on a Halo or Mass Effect style game will benefit just as much as students interested in working in a fantasy setting similar to Skyrim or the Guild Wars universe. Every aspect of this environment's creation has been recorded, edited, and narrated down to the streamlined essentials. These are not your typical gum-chewing, rambling, mouse-clicking tutorials. We have painstakingly scripted each lesson to only contain the relevant information so that you don't have to waste your time on errs and ums. Now as I fly around the environment, we're basically looking at the current curriculum. So let's do a quick run through of what you can expect from the online class. Intro to 3D modeling will get you comfortable with 3ds Max and the essential tools we'll be using moving forward. Intro to Photoshop will cover all the basics so that you can hit the ground running with your texture creation. Intro to Texturing and Crazy Bump will explain the different texture types and terminology that we'll use throughout the class. The CryEngine Setup tutorial will help make sure your tools and plugins are in the right spot so that the exporting works properly. Intro to CryEngine 3 will cover the basic navigation and level editing tools so that you'll be able to create your own environments by placing the individual assets you've already created from your 3D modeling package. Lighting in CryEngine will walk you through all the settings and help you create your own mood and atmosphere from scratch. It will also go over the different time of day options so that you can keyframe settings for morning, afternoon, evening, and night, and then have the engine slowly transition through them. The CryEngine Materials tutorial will walk you through creating different materials like wood, stone, metal, chrome, glass, etc. Intro to subdivision modeling or hard surface modeling will explain the technique and demonstrate when and when not to use this approach. Intermediate subdivision modeling will demonstrate how to create a high poly weapon using sub-D modeling. Intro to Dedo, which is an awesome texturing tool that helps with procedural details like rust, grime, water stains, etc. This handy tool also helps keep all your textures in sync so if you add some rust to your diffuse texture, it also masks off that area in your spec and gloss texture accordingly. Intro to World Machine will cover the basic functionality and process of creating terrain height maps and diffuse textures for use with CryEngine 3. Using World Machine to export giant props to be used off in the distance so you can have giant mountains or rolling plains that help disguise the actual map border. Creating grass and bushes for use with CryEngine 3's vegetation system and then simply painting them onto your terrain to quickly define an area. The tree creation tutorial covers the entire process including creating your textures, defining materials, and painting the trees using the vegetation system. The architecture modeling tutorial will walk you through planning your textures and modeling all the way to the final polish and export process. This will cover single unique buildings as well as larger modular structures. Creating rocks and cliffs that integrate with your CryEngine terrain and also boulders that can be painted using the vegetation system. Creating your own custom skybox texture so you can paint in any distant buildings or details on your horizon. Using ZBrush to create your tiled terrain materials that blend in with your mega texture from World Machine. Miscellaneous modeling, which would cover vert coloring, baking lighting into the vert colors, LODs, and variants. Creating a tiling dirt path or road texture 
that you can plug right into CryEngine's road system and use the spline editing to change the path. And last but not least, a tutorial on taking high-res screenshots for your portfolio, along with some advice and examples on what makes a strong portfolio piece. With the online course, we will meet once a week to answer questions and critique work, so instructor interaction is a large portion of the class. This student-teacher interaction simulates what it's going to be like working under an art director. So while you might not always agree, you can trust that the feedback is coming from a professional. Thank you for watching, and be sure to email us with any questions about the course. We look forward to helping you build your next kick-ass video game environment.